Tonight, the politics of drugs. They are at the heart of a contentious Senate race in West Virginia. Three Republicans vying for the GOP nomination all have their own ideas how to combat the growing crisis of opioid abuse. Correspondent Peter Ducey shows us tonight from Charleston, West Virginia. The candidates have spent time in either court, Congress, or a correctional facility. Now, Republicans competing in West Virginia's Senate primary are fighting about who is best positioned to fight the opioid epidemic. We've been tackling the problem about as aggressively as any office can. Patrick Morrissey, the state's attorney general, is taking credit for a court victory that just inspired a freshly proposed DEA rule which could cut down on opioid production. Part of the reason why we sued the DEA is that we found out that the national drug quota system had utterly failed our citizen. But in Washington, Congress cuts the checks for opioid prevention and treatment, and the only candidate currently serving there is Congressman Evan Jenkins. I have served on the Appropriations Committee. The $6 billion working with the White House that we've just approved is a significant positive step in the right direction. Jenkins, who helped start a recovery center for infants born to drug-addicted mothers, is also trying to convince voters that the Attorney General Morrissey has ties to the industry, partly blamed for the state's drug problem. If a person has deep roots and relationships from all of his lobbying experience with Big Pharma, I don't know how we can trust him. Morrissey doesn't think Jenkins can credibly make that claim. I think Evan Jenkins is a hypocrite and Evan Jenkins for many years in his career took massive quantities of money from the pharmaceutical industry when he was the head of the state medical association. Now a fresh set of eyes on the epidemic comes from the contender fresh out of prison. Former coal baron Don Blankenship who served a year on misdemeanor charges tied to the upper big branch mine disaster. The wall is very important uh, ending the sanctuary city is important. Drug testing public officials, particularly teachers and judges and prosecutors, is important. His ideas mirror the president's. And Blankenship believes Jenkins and Morrissey each had a chance to address opioids when elected and blew it. Well, I think that uh, both of them are greatly responsible for the epidemic because they haven't done enough. It's rare for there to be a competitive Republican primary in this state. So this is the most detailed that Republicans running for statewide office have gotten in debates about opioids in years. And there's urgency because the CDC says that West Virginia has the highest rate of deaths from drug overdoses anywhere. Brett? Peter Ducey live in Charleston. Peter, thank you.